From WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa, and here are your top stories on this Friday, November 17th. A suspended state trooper is expected in court today after being arrested and charged with computer crimes. We're told Jose Campos had been using the state police computer system to get information on a woman he was seeing. We also know that he was accused of sexual assault in Southbury last year, but was never charged. And breaking overnight, another government shutdown has officially been averted. President Biden signed the bill that was pushed through by Congress late last night. Congress now has until February 2nd to come up with a more permanent spending solution. Otherwise, the threat of a government shutdown will continue to resurface. How are we doing out there, Scott? Uh, still a little foggy. Uh, that dense fog advisory was in effect this morning. It's going to burn off and throughout the day today. We're going to have mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies by later on this afternoon. Temperatures today top out in the low to mid 60s. Look at the numbers for the shoreline 62. I mean, it's just remarkable weather. Normal high for this time of year is 51. We're going to get to 64 at Bradley, 62 in New Haven. And then here comes your seven day forecast. First alert for the fog. Morning showers tomorrow giving way to partial to mostly sunny skies. Breezy on Sunday and Monday. A little rain Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday morning. Thursday Thanksgiving looks good.